Hey, Jeff here, your YouTube reviewer of New England Brews, and welcome back to NEBR New England Beer Reviews. From my backyard of Portsmouth, New Hampshire, this is the Smutty Nose Rye IPA. That's R-H-Y-E IPA. Unlike uh, a brew they put out in the past called the Rye IPA, which was the R-Y-E IPA. This version is new for 2013. Comes in with an ABV of 7.0% ABV. What this is is a variation on their very famous finest kind IPA, uh, known all around the world. And uh, they added a bit of rye malt to it to bring out that extra flavor. So, uh, I like that rhinoceros on the cover. So this is brand new for 2013. Uh, there is a description on the side of the glass, which I'm gonna to try to read to you. I need my glasses for this one because the font is pretty small. The Smutty Nose Big Beer series, big beers in big bottles released seasonally in very limited uh, qual quantities. Our rye IPA, bowls its way into our lineup because we love really hoppy beers and we're looking for an opportunity to play with rye malt and add a big boatload of hops. Would a rhino enjoy the big flavor? We don't know, but let us know if you find out. Okay, well, all kinds of descriptions out there on these beer bottles. So, I'm gonna get right into this and give it a shot. Ooh. A little foamy off there. Um, let's see, let's give it a pour into the smutty nose glass. Serving it in the uh, upper 40 degree range, I would imagine. It was in the fridge. Took it out for about 20 minutes, I'd say, in that ballpark. So, upper 40 degree range. There we go. Put this over here. Maybe you'll see it better. Alrighty then, let's take a look at this. Well, definitely a very cloudy color. A uh, hazy, cloudy, milky, and it's a pale yellow golden sort of color with a bit of orange color as well. Huge head, maybe because I've had it out of the fridge for quite some time. Uh, but it's busy carbonation, uh, even though it's very milky and cloudy, I think you might be able to see some of the carbonation working its way on up the glass to this enormous head on top. All right, checking out the aroma. Oh, definitely hot, getting those, getting those very floral hops floral hops pine mmm and then the citrus stuff it's grapefruit some orange orange grapefruit citrus and and you know it's got that definite IPA or uh, hoppy smell with er more floral hops than earthy hops it's like a flower garden as well as uh, uh, orange and citrus, grapefruit, so it, it definitely has uh, those kind of uh, notes that one comes to expect from a good or actually a rather well hopped beer as they seem to explain on the side. And there's a there's touch of a toasted uh, biscuit in there as well. That's uh, it's in there actually not too badly. I, I'm noticing it now. I, I noticed the hops at first. They came on strong on my nose right off the bat. But after smelling this three, four times, I'm getting that uh, biscuit feel to it as well. So it's a, it's a well-balanced aroma. Time to check out the flavor. Mm. Mm. Body is medium. Medium? Yeah, I'd say medium. Um, not a lightweight body, but definitely not a bold body. Just a medium-ranged body. Mmm. Hmm. Smooth too, a smooth and medium. Now the taste, yeah, for sure, those uh, hops are really roaring up from behind and, and just sort of taking over my mouth. Hmm. There's, uh, you're getting a, a bit of this grapefruit citrus on the taste, just like you do on the nose. Uh, it's more predominant on the nose than it is on the taste but there is definitely a citrus uh, character in the flavor as well. And then you're also getting a, a real good dose of hops, those floral, flowery hops, like you're walking through a rose garden or something. I mean, you're definitely getting a really nice floral hop sensation. Um, this is meant to be a summer brew, so it really uh, is something that works out, w works out better to be uh, had in the summer months. Mm-mm-mm. 
and uh, it's got a, a slight lingering finish. The, it lingers for a moment at the end, uh, not terribly long, but it lingers uh, in a dry sort of way. It is dry hopped according to the, uh, their website. So it does have a kind of a dryish finish that lingers for, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 seconds. Mm. Toasted biscuit as well. Um, again, the, the grapefruit and the orange on the taste and the floral hops on the taste and on the nose. I mean, this is a really well hopped beer, but it's not super bitter. I'd call it moderately bitter. Um, it's, it, it doesn't really make me pucker up or anything like that. Some uh, uber hopped beers can really make me kind of like, you know, wince and kind of, you know, kind of grit my teeth a bit because they're just so bitter and so hopped. This one isn't quite to that level. Mm. That's not to say that you're not picking up a hop character. I think the people who are big fans of hopped beers should like this one. Um, it should, they should find it rather satisfying and enjoyable. It's refreshing as well. It's a good refreshing beer. Mm. And uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it quite a lot. So let me take a minute to finish this and then I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, well, it still maintained that head for quite some time, uh, but I am on the last sip. So that might be my fault, the way I poured it. Mm. But finishing off the last sip, I mean, it ends well. Uh, it maintains its character right to the end, I think. Um, I'm still getting that good biscuit and uh, hoppy, I'm sorry, hoppy and floral sensation with a bit of a biscuit kind of thrown in as well. It's, it has a warming uh, effect as well. Um, you know, I, I do wish that it didn't have quite as much uh, head left over. But uh, again, I, I'm probably the one at fault for the way I poured it. But overall, regardless of that, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those beers that I think people who enjoy hops would probably like. And uh, people who are fans of Smutty Nose will not be disappointed because Smutty Nose has a good reputation. And um, a lot of people who like Smutty Nose should not be disappointed. Like me, uh, everything, most everything ever from Smutty Nose is usually pretty good. So that's it for now. That is the uh, Smutty Nose Rye IPA. Thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you again next time.